Hello and welcome to this SUP order video where we're going to be breaking down a sliding turn versus a carving turn on your SUP. They both can be essentially classed as a turn, but they do impact your surfing in different ways. First of all, let's break both of them down to see what the difference between a sliding turn versus a carving turn is. A sliding turn is a sharp, quick release of the fins and rail from pushing our back foot away from you and keeping the board flat on the water. The fins release, the tail of the board slides out away from us, and the water flows across the bottom of the board without any engagement from the fins or the rail. This type of turn feels good to do, as there is no resistance when the fins go free, and the tail of the board gets away from you, which makes it look pretty cool as well. With these sliding turns, we rely heavily on the paddle and lean on it for balance and also to bring the board back under our feet. A carving turn on your SUP is where we engage the fins and rail of the board to create an arc with our turn. We apply pressure to the rails of the board with our feet to tilt the board up onto its side. This creates active engagement with our fins and rail to keep the board moving with speed and power through the water. We can choose how we want to use the paddle during this type of turn as our center of gravity is maintained over the board. This type of turn links together maneuvers with speed, creates spray and feels smooth and effortless when carried out well. Now you'll most likely know which turn is your go-to after watching that short introduction. They are both very different turns and have knock-on effects that affects the rest of your ride along the wave. You can see with the sliding turn that we have no resistance to the water with our fins or rail of the board. There's nothing to push against and if we just keep pushing, we'll just keep sliding. Now like I said before, this looks cool when making a big turn, don't get me wrong, but we don't carry any speed out of the turn or into the next maneuver. There's no flow either. We break the speed and power that we generated before making this turn and throw it all away to slide the fins out. So after we finish this turn, we need to reset and regather our momentum to keep riding down the line. There's generally a natural progression through these turns when we do start out in the water sup surfing. We usually start by performing a sliding turn just because it's the easiest one to carry out. And as we start to progress through the ability levels, we'll start to perform carving turns. This was the same for me when I was starting out. The sliding turn was my go-to turn. The reason for this is down to a number of things. Carving turns require the use of your rail. So having the right rail shape and dimensions and also equipment will affect your turning ability. When we start out riding sups in the waves, we need volume and flotation to be able to balance. So therefore, our boards are going to be thicker and wider. Width and thickness, especially toward the tail of the board around the fins, will naturally be harder to sink into the wave and engage the rail. This is more true for beginner sup surfers as well because feet positioning and weight distribution is not perfect. So a bigger, boxier rail shape is gonna be harder to engage in the water than having a lower profile rail on your sup. Watching these clips, and you can start to notice that a wider tail will have more of an effect on whether a board will slide out or not. Stubby nose shapes like the Starboard Hypernut, the JP Slate, the RRD Coten, or the Fanatic Stubby will have more of a tendency to slide out due to the wide tail shape. This is also known as that skatey feeling that SUP surfers tend to reference. Having the right technique to bury the rail is so important to carrying out carving turns with speed. Fins also make a huge difference to whether or not your board will slide out during turns. The number of fins and also their size will influence the slidey or skatey feeling. Thrusters or 2 plus 1 setups have more stability and hold when performing turns and pushing hard. So this is the fin configuration you would see most subsurfers using when they are performing carving turns. The bigger the fins in your board and the harder you can push during your turns to create the arc of a carve. If you're using smaller fins as a thruster or a 2 plus 1 configuration, or if you have a twin fin or quad setup, then you're more likely to slide your turns. The lack of a center fin in the board will create more speed down the line, but may not offer the hold when pushing hard from the tail. 
This is very noticeable in those wider tail boards where the board turns flat rather than tips onto the rail for the carve. The other reason for sliding a turn is down to our technique. When we start out in the surf, we are just finding our feet, so any turn feels good that we can do. And the sliding turn is by far the easiest and fastest to learn. We have the paddle for balance, so putting it in the water, applying pressure to the paddle, and pushing our back foot away to slide the board out is fairly simple. The sole of the foot stays flat on the board, so we have an even weight across the whole tail to slide it and keep it under control. These turns usually take place on the shoulder of the wave, away from the pocket, and as we start to come out of the turn, the white water may start to catch us back up and puts us back into position to continue down the line. So as we learn to turn our board, we often rely on using the sliding turn on all of our waves. But are we missing a trick by performing this turn? We need to remember that we are wiping off our speed and flow when making a sliding turn, and then this affects how many moves you can do on the wave, what your next maneuver may be, and we will never be able to link together maneuvers. You may be happy to continue performing these sliding turns, but if you want to take your SUP surfing to the next level, then you might want to learn how to perform a carving turn, and that's really going to lift your game. A carving turn carries speed and power, which means we have better overall control of where we direct our board. Our fins and rail are engaged, which means we are using the design elements of the board for their intended purpose. Watching this carving turn, and we can immediately see the difference in the speed that we carry out of the turn and into the next maneuver. This type of turn when sup surfing is what we all need to aim for because we are maximizing the board's design and also surfing like the pros. A carving turn scores much higher in competitions because it covers the criteria of performing maneuvers with speed, power, and flow. To initiate a carving turn on your forehand, place the paddle in the water and sink back onto your heels. This is where the board starts to tilt onto the rail so we can engage it along with the fins. We are still pushing with our back foot, but we are relying on the board to hold and carve around back underneath our body. You will notice spray starting to come out off of the rail, and this is due to the power and speed that we carry throughout this turn. Once the board is back underneath us, we release the paddle and back foot pressure to realign ourselves along the wave face again. But this time, we have much more speed coming out of the turn when compared to performing a sliding turn. You will start to notice a huge improvement in your SUP surfing if you start to perform carving turns. But remember, your equipment does play a big part in this. So if you feel like you are sliding out when you're pushing too hard on your heels, then put in some bigger fins to help with hold and carving ability. You can also try a board with less width and thickness around the rail toward the fins, so it's easier to sink into the wave to engage the fins. There are times, however, where we can choose whether to carve or slide our turns. Once you get more advanced with your SUP surfing, using your weight and body positions can help in deciding whether to slide the fins out for more effect. A carve turned into a slide, for example, is a good use of both types of turns and can add more flair to your surfing style. We hope that knowing and understanding the difference between sliding and carving turns helps you to progress your SUP surfing into the future. For more great videos, reviews, how-tos and more, head over to the SUP Water website to get your SUP fix. Thanks so much for tuning in to this video and we look forward to seeing you on another one very soon.